Hi there, welcome back to a new video. In this one, we are looking at SPRT and GREE, -E, as it is now known. Obviously, we have had that merger take place, and a lot of stuff has happened. Ultimately, things are not looking too good when we look out to GREE. -E. The shares have apparently fallen about 50% on the debut trading day, and again, that can be seen as a very negative thing. I want to give a few of my personal thoughts and opinions as to why this is happening in this video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe, but do remember, guys, this is... Is not financial advice. In this video, I'm just going to be sharing my opinion on what is happening. I'm not going to tell you what I think could happen in the future in too much detail because I think it is very, very hard to say. I think this is one of those instances where people really need to look, do their own research and come to their own conclusions and opinions as to what they want to do. But again, I just want to share a few of my personal opinions on what is going on right now in this video. So first things first, we'll start off by looking at how the charts have been moving. When looking at SPRT stock in the past Past few days we can see the data that we have on the one day the five day and out to the one month and then we'll look over to the data that we have for GREE -E. So first things first, on the one day, uh, the most recent day, we can see a big decline. This is about 38.22%. You guys will know uh, this has been the case. We've fallen about uh, 0.82 in the after hours of that period. This was about a further 7%. So yeah, things were falling. We were seeing a moving average slightly higher than where we were at the end of the day. We were seeing an RSI figure for the end of the day at 44 and a slightly bullish uh, trend almost emerging down here on the MACD on the one day. On the past five days, we can see that the trend was mixed ultimately we were falling though we had a pretty okay start to the week and uh, end to last week going forwards into this week we can see we started to fall and obviously that just cons uh, constantly happened up until the point where we are right now at a price point below the $12 mark. Now currently the moving average is still at 13.43, the RSI is at 27 and the MACD trend is looking bearish. The one month chart is showing us that the moving average is still catching up at 11.80, uh, it's basically just touching on where the share price is right now so not really too bad. We can see that the MACD trend right now is currently sat at Coming towards the bearish side, it was bullish as we had this rise in price, but now it is coming down a bit. Those lines are crossing over, and the RSI is at 44. And now we're going to quickly do that look on GREE -E stock. So we will type in GREE -E and look at how the price has been moving. So as I did explain just a few moments ago, things aren't looking too good for this stock most recently. You know, we have been seeing a fall in price and a lot of people are confused as to what is going on with this stock. Well, we spoke about the merger here with this stock in the past and what this could mean for the company. Some may see it as a catalyst long term. Some people who look to this as a short term trade may be a bit confused right now because, you know, they just don't know what is really going on. And that does make sense. You know, there isn't really too much data uh, regarding this stock right now because we just don't necessarily know what's going well we just don't necessarily have that data yet and subsequently a lot of people are confused and scared and a lot of people are exiting their positions in my opinion based on what i have been seeing a lot of people are seeing that they are down massively on the stock and are choosing to exit their positions so let me talk about what I think is happening and why we are seeing that decrease in price. So ultimately, as I mentioned just a second ago, a lot of people do appear to be selling. The reason why I think this is, is because when we first looked at SPRT, this was not really a fundamental play. You guys will know that is the case. We did have the potential of seeing more and more rises in the future, but right now things have been thrown up in the air a bit. We all knew that this merger was going to take place from the date that it was voted uh, positively upon. Despite this, I think it has left a lot of people confused as they don't necessarily know the exact things that they may want to know. Things like short interest, you know, if people are still short in the stock and when shorts will cover and that sort of thing. Now, again, we don't really have the data from this as of yet. This stock hasn't really been trading for too long, as you guys will know. So it really is hard to distinguish what that data is but i think yeah a lot of people definitely got quite confused and chose to exit their positions again a lot of people bought the highs of the stock and are now down quite a bit i don't want to talk about what i think could happen with this company uh, in the short term i think long term now the company does have some decent fundamentals but Initially, this wasn't really a fundamentals play, as you guys will know. A lot of people thought this was a short squeeze play, and Studio, Studio believe there is a short squeeze play. Now, I'm not saying that it isn't or is, but I'm just saying, guys, that is what I think is going on right now. Again, going forwards into the future, I would love to continue giving you guys updates, but please tell me what you guys are doing in the comment section, because I would really want to know. Again, I just want to tell you guys what has happened in the past day or so. Thank you for watching. I'll see you soon. Thank you for watching through till the end, but let me tell you about our Discord. 
So on your screen you will be seeing the N2S Finance Discord. Obviously it is split into multiple sections. Basically at the top we have updates from me and all that kind of good stuff. If you scroll down a bit further we have the main sections where we focus on cryptos, SPACs and other hot stocks including penny stocks, even stable growth stocks as well and we even have a special AMC GME chat. If you scroll down you can see some research and DD from the community. We also have funny memes and you can see actual contributions from many members down here and again if you do join us it is a completely free link is down below but if you do want to become a patreon you will actually get a pink uh, sticker which will be displayed on your name so your name will come up in pink as mine comes up in red down here and that will show that you are a patreon but other than that guys you can join completely for free down below you do not have to pay anything if you do not want to thank you for watching see you soon